Hello, welcome to chapter 35, Bootstrap Affix, brought to you by Android Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we're going to learn like how to work with Bootstrap Affix plugin. So, right now, let's understand very clearly what do you mean by Bootstrap Affix plugin. The Bootstrap Affix plugin, it is used to pin the elements such as navbar when they are scrolled beyond a certain point. To understand this sentence very clearly, right now let me jump into Visual Studio and let me code for that. But as of now, let us recall in the previous session what we learnt. In the previous session, we learnt like we build this navbar, vertical navbar, and also the images next to it. Now, as soon as I scroll down, when I get the particular images, for example, when I'm getting the vegetable image, you can observe the vegetable link is getting highlighted. Similarly, as soon as I scroll down, when I get the flower image, the flower link is getting highlighted. This is what we achieved in the last session. But as of now, in this session, we are going to work with the Affix plugin. So, in order to work with Affix plugin, I need to make some arrangements. The arrangements are something like above this vertical bar, this nav bar, as well as these images, I need to take a jumbotron okay what i'll do is right now let me jump into visual studio and after this row let me add a do element to that do element let me add a class that is bootstrap grid class 12 and inside that do element let me take another do and to that let me add a class called jumbotron and inside that let me add a heading tag here let me write something like bootstrap demo of affix now when I do control S, when I go back, when I refresh, you can observe we are getting this bootstrap demo of affix. But this navbar is fixed, it is staying at the top itself. So let me remove that fixed position. So I need to remove this set of CSS. Control S. When I go back and when I refresh, you can observe the bootstrap demo of affix, this jumbotron as well as this navbar and as well as these images they are lying very clearly now the important point you have to keep in mind is now as soon as I scroll down okay as soon as I scroll down the vertical bar the navbar is also getting scrolled with the images as well as with the jumbotron now our objective is we have to pin this navbar how do I do that we can achieve that with the help of this affix plugin and also in order to work with affix plugin we have to make use of these two attributes they are the most important attributes when you're working with affix plugin that is data spy and data offset top in the sense now in this web page i want to make this i want to make this navbar fixed as soon as this jumbotron is disappearing in the sense this navbar should get fixed as soon as this jumbotron is getting disappearing now the jumbotron is getting disappeared and i want to pin this navbar but as of now we are not done that so the navbar is crawling up so our objective is this navbar should get pinned or fixed okay as soon as the jumbotron is invisible or it's disappearing so how can we achieve that it's very simple let me jump to my visual studio here to this unordered list which is having the links fruits vegetables flowers and animals i need to set some data dash attributes the first one is data spy i'll set it sorry it's data spy I'll set the value as a fix and also I need to add another data dash attribute data offset top to 200 in the sense this navbar is lying 200 pixels from the top in the sense this jumbotron as soon as it disappears this navbar should get pinned so that's what we are writing here with the help of these two data dash attributes now you can observe very carefully now when I go back and when I refresh now you observe very, very carefully as soon as this jumbotron is disappearing this navbar will get pinned or it get fixed now observe very carefully now the jumbotron is getting disappeared and observe carefully this this navbar it's pinned now it's not moving the position is fixed of that navbar so how did we achieve that we achieved that with the help of these two attributes the data spy and data offset top Okay. We are applied to this unordered list which is having those links, fruits, vegetables and animals. And we are having another important, another one problem. The problem is this navbar is pushing 200 pixel down or some pixel down. So our objective is we want to pin this navbar at the top 20 pixel itself, not more than that. How can I achieve that? It's very simple. What I'll do is I need to write a bit of CSS. I'll call a class called affix. I'll tell you later why I'm calling this class affix. Okay. Then I'll set the top value to 20 pixel in the sense that navbar is going to fix 20 pixel from the top now when I do control uh, refresh the page 
you can observe now this jumbotron as soon as it's disappearing this navbar will get fixed and it will be fixed at the 20 pixel top 20 pixel itself now it will move down okay now we observe that navbar is is fixing from the top 20 pixel not more than that earlier it was visible here at the center of the page now it's fixed at the top 20 pixel itself now you can observe this is working very fine okay now this is what we achieved the pinning of a element here the element is navbar we have pinned it and how did we achieve that we achieved that with the help of this plugin a fixed plugin and also these two attributes fine and let me explain you why did I take this affix class because in the bootstrap.cs file they have a affix class to that affix class they have told the position to be fixed but uh, when they have told the position to be fixed defaultly this navbar is pushing to the center of the page so what they have done is they have not told like at what position to be it has to be fixed so what I am doing right now I am telling like it has to be fixed at 20 pixel at top so that is what I've configured this affix class like as to my wishes okay this is what we achieved in this session okay and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Anchor Training you can also like our Facebook page visiting these URLs you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference refer our website we are on LinkedIn too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day